I am Liam Bailey, and you are watching Elite Sports TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, Bunny Shaw here with Elite Sports TV. Make sure you like and subscribe and always tune in. Alright, alright, can you hear that people? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you're watching back the video and the replay, my name is Ryan LFC. We are back again with another top shelf video for you guys today. As you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail. We're going to talk about Leon Bailey. The man is in big hot water. My goodness. Wow. We have to just say wow. After doing an interview, and let's be honest, viewers and subscribers, let me tell you something. Is it over the years? Every single time player get in trouble when they go on international break and do interview check it all across the world check it back every single time football player get in trouble with club with their fan base and with the international club fan base and player serious thing check it over the years every single time an international break trust me chaos i know about chaos when player do interview especially player that come from south america with dream for play for Barcelona and Real Madrid, Coutinho, now we have Diaz. I can tell you about it as a Liverpool supporter. Luis Suarez in press conference. The local media in this country, when you come an international break, players always get in trouble doing interview. And Leon Bailey find himself in a big hot water across the world right now. With the Jamaican Football Federation and with the Reggae Boys team, we're going to get into it. Viewers and subscribers, we'll see you guys has been watching, liking, commenting, but you guys not subscribing. Please, this is the place where you get everything Jamaican football behind the scene and we chop up everything. Tonight, we will go live and go in detail with the Leon Bailey interview, but... For right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and let's get into it, people. But, the reggae boys, players, and happy, upset with Leon Bailey interview when him do with Les Bianis. And people, my goodness, not only the reggae boys and happy with Leon Bailey interview, listen, Sky Sports and the big media outlet in the world putting on the pressure on Leon Bailey misquote the baller I don't like people misquote the baller and a big entity like Sky Sports and the cleaner and the star and the ESPN a whole heap of thing the man them say Leon Bailey said he want to play for Real Madrid the man them say Leon Bailey dream to play for a top six team. But he probably dream to play for a top six team. But in reality, the man never said nothing like that in the interview. The foreign media twist the world. This is what the foreign media do. And when we local media do this stuff, people come and say we not. We are unprofessional. We do this. We do that. They beat on us. Beat down on us. But when the foreign media do it, we don't hear them and beat them. The man them take Leon Bailey word and twist it and know Leon Bailey. It's a possibility that just signing a new contract with him club. Fans of Aston Villa probably read this and probably upset with Leon Bailey. But the truth is, he never say that he want to leave Aston Villa. The man never say nothing like that and the media twist it. Typical media. When it comes on to international break, this is what the media don't. So Leon, why am I tell you, brother? Trust me, bro. Now, let us talk about the reggae boy scam with Leon Bailey. People, the man them say, Leon Bailey did that interview. That interview come on at the wrong time. Who should we blame for this? Is it Leon Bailey? Is it the 
Let's be honest, owner, people, me no know. Me no know. Leon Bailey talk about the problem he's going through. But some of the reggae boys players, especially the players overseas, say, no, we love a country, we come here to qualify for World Cup and all of them stuff there. And Leon Bailey, out there by himself. Now, reggae boys fans, reggae girls fans, the Jamaica national team, I can understand if you guys think going into a big game that the interview released the wrong time when you're going into a big game. I can get that. I can understand that. Right? But I think as player, you have to be careful because I know I speak to a lot of players and some of the same thing that Leon Bailey is saying, you guys have the same feelings and have the same feeling that you guys want to the money and want that type of treatment don't leave leon bailey and the board hanging don't leave leon bailey out there make him face all of these pressure but leon bailey have to blame himself probably the players i'm just not happy with the video release before the game you understand that cause a lot of attention but by the way the reggae boys team put in a Excellent performance, people. The team put in an excellent performance. Damian Low, Hector, Lati Bodier, Tushan Bernard, Dexter, Bobby Reed, um, Cephas. Him should have scored. People, the whole team play well, in my opinion. This is the first time I watch the Jamaican team where we look organized. We score early, we didn't need to score another one. If we get another one, it would be great. But just 40 seconds leave before the whistle blow off and we can see that deflection. Tough one is a difficult one to swallow. Speaking to a couple of the players and people this morning, the man them devastated. The man them devastated. Man say them could sleep. Man say yo them have headache. Could sleep last night. So, shout out to all the reggae boys who put in an excellent performance last night. Coach Al Grimson, I think the coach did everything right. Everything right. A lot of people in hindsight were looking at it. Put on Dixie. Dixie come on and doing stuff. Yeah? But, at the end of the day, we never know what Dixie is going to do. And, for example, Corberg come on. A lot of people are saying, Corberg shouldn't come on. Dixie should have come on. People, in a that circumstance, we lead him by a goal to nail. The coach go for experience. I can't beat the coach for that. I can't beat the coach for that. Dixie get a good amount of minute. The coach bring experience. We can't beat the coach for that. We can't beat Corbett. The deflection was a wicked deflection. We kill the team. People have to be honest, you know, man. We have to be honest, man. The performance was good. We put in a fight. And that's all we ask for. With so many key players out for the reggae boys. Shaman Nicholson, Gray, Antonio. That's three major players in the front three. At the back, Amari Bell, Ethan Pinnock. Just take a look at it now, man. Oh, so much key player missing. I will put in an excellent performance by the Jamaican team. And a lot of we never expect. A lot of we never expect the team to perform so well. So we have to give credit. We have to give credit. We have to just go again. We have to just continue to put in the hard work. But me devastated. Me disappointed. Still can't believe we don't win that. We should have in the final. But I hope we learn from a lesson. And we just have to move on. So big up to the whole reggae boys camp. But I hear that Leon Bailey have to probably... I don't know how I'm going to do this. But... The team is not happy. I don't know how I'm going to build that trust with the team. And some other thing in the press, in the in the in the in the in Leon Bailey interview, Leon, trust me. You see, when you ask you these some of these stuff, you can't just say you're alone, brother. You say the team, yeah. The team need proper equipment. The team need proper jersey. And I still can't understand why the team having issue with jersey. And we have Adidas, big Adidas sponsor us. 
Now the JFF put out a press release. We're going in depth live tonight about that. JFF say them going at the Alkai and the last three flight Bailey get. They book the last three flight to Bailey and it's first class. So me no know people. This little and Bailey thing, it deeper than what we think on the surface, people. Yeah? It deep. So me now go be here and beating the JF, beating Leon, beating everybody need to play a part. Everybody need to do deal with the thing professionally and do the right thing. But it no look good. It no look good and the team not happy with Leon Bailey with that interview the day before the game. That bring a lot of negative, that bring a lot of controversy thing around the dressing room and the players them put in the performance and if you look at the performance last night, the players them look like they have a different energy to go there and win that game last night. But unfortunate, it didn't happen. But Leon Bailey, my goodness, trust me, Aston Villa fans are happy. Trust me, bro, it, 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 it will affect Leon Bailey. But anyway, Leon Bailey, stay strong, baller. Don't give up. Take a break and let us hope you can get ready. Mend the fence with the JFM. Mend the fence with the team. But reggae boys player, don't some you know, be like hypocrite. You know, I talk to you, you know. Don't leave, don't show Leon Bailey out like that, you know. I talk to many of you guys, and many of you guys have the same sentiment that Leon have. We can understand say, the interview probably released the wrong time for upset the team. But at the end of the day, it done not me already. Let us learn from it. Let us move on. But Leon Bailey, stay away from the media right now, Bridget. Because you in a whole heap of hot water. Whole heap, bro. The whole world. I look at Jamaica. Fabrice Romano posting it on Instagram, on Twitter, speaking about Leon Bailey with him. Think so. Foreign media is picking up this thing and running with it. No at the time foreign media run a thing. An international break, not many story. So any local story them get, them going to run with it. Hit the like button, share it out down in the comment section. Until next time, from your boy Ryan LFC, I like to say peace out. Thanks for watching.